In this video, we will look at how to add a description or extra details to your to-dos. If you are coming from more traditionally task management apps, such as Todoist, or you still haven't found a system that feels right, this video might be for you. In Ample Note, I can turn almost anything into a task. If I click into that line and press the task button in the toolbar. I can even create a task from this image. If I select multiple blocks of content from my note and press the task formatting option again, Ample Note creates an individual task for every block of content that I've selected. Also, if I jump into any individual task and press enter on my keyboard, I can insert a new empty task after this one. That's pretty nice, but what if I want a single task to contain more information in the form of multiple lines of text? To do that, I can use what is called a hard line break. When I'm in a task, or any type of paragraph for that matter, I can press shift enter and instead of creating a new task, I will jump onto a new line in the same task. Now I can add as many details as necessary to this task and even create more hard breaks if I need to. If I am on mobile and I want to insert a hard break, the shift enter hotkey is not going to be accessible. So instead, I can use the dedicated slash command by typing forward slash and hard break. Rich footnotes allow for what we like to call writing in 3D, because instead of filling up extra lines in my task, I can add my task details in a virtual box of sorts. This box only appears when I need it. We covered rich footnotes in a previous video, so make sure to check that out. For now, I can quickly add more details by selecting any number of characters and pressing Command K or Control K. In the footnote itself, I can add anything that is useful for the completion of this task, such as the URL to my expenses tracking app, and other notes to myself, such as remember to split the electricity bill from yesterday. Sometimes my tasks imply doing a series of steps or going through a checklist. If I would rather not have those checklists inside a rich footnote, as we've shown before, I can use one of the following approaches. Number one, subtasks. In Ample Note, pressing Tab on my keyboard indents a task and creates a relationship to the task above it. To create a checklist for my task, I can simply add children tasks until my routine is complete. Now, moving the parent task will also move the child task along with it so that they always stay together. Number two, a link to a separate note containing the necessary steps. We will cover note linking in more detail in another video, but for now, I can select my task hierarchy and then choose extract to a note from the floating toolbar. After I name my new note, blog publishing checklist, and press enter, my tasks will disappear and instead I will get a link to the note I just created. If I open this note in the sidebar, I can see that indeed my checklist is there, so that's good. Now back to my main note, I will convert this link into a task. We now have a task containing a link to a note, so that unlocks all sorts of cool possibilities. The next time I have to publish a blog post, I can just copy the contents of this note 
into my daily jot and start working. There are a bunch of ways to do that, but for this example, I will just navigate to my checklist note and type forward slash copy and choose today's daily jot. Now, a copy of my checklist is in my daily jot. And as I work through each step, I can cross out the tasks to see my progress. Copying the checklist into my jot leaves my original checklist note intact and reusable, meaning I can use it again next time I have to publish a blog post. So, depending on your needs, you can add extra details to your task by inserting a line break in the task field itself, by inserting rich footnotes, or by creating subtasks or checklists.